is. Take your time to find your comfortable city. You can extend your legs out or you can bend the seat on your heels. Just take a moment to breathe here. Very short meditation before we move. Get sweat. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, take your shoulders down out of your ears. Feel the length in your spine and your neck. Take three breaths together. Inhale, exhale, breathe in and breathe out. Once more, inhale fully. Exhale, empty the air out completely. On next inhale, open your eyes. Inhale, bring your hands up. As you exhale, cactus your arms, bend your elbows by your side. Beautiful. Twice more. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, bend. Keep the shoulder blades down your back. Breathe in, reach up high, even higher. Exhale, bend. Now you can take your left hand down, right hand up and over for first side stretch today. We will do lots of side bend and side strengthening, side abs workout today. So turn on your strength or just a little warm up for your side of body. You can bend and extend through your right arm or you can stay still. Two more breath. If you haven't done pose for a moment, feel free to bend your left elbow, keep the right arm nice and long. Scoop your belly in toward your back. Stay for three. You might look up, two, one, inhale back to center, switch side, left hand up and over. Feel free to bend and extend through your left arm. Just notice how your body feels through this movement. Make sure your neck is nice and soft. One more inhale, exhale, pose at the bottom. Relax your shoulders and neck, keep the belly in, engage your core muscles. Stay for three, two, both sitting bones down on your mat, one. Back to center. Inhale your fingers, flip your palms up, breathe in. As you breathe out, round your back, look at your belly, make sure your core engaged. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, round through your back again. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, you might look up. Exhale, pressing through your palms away from your chest, twice more. Nice, Christy. Breathe in. A little longer breath. Breath out. Stay there. Boop. Excuse me. Belly in. Pull your navel in toward your spine. Stay for three. Pushing through your palms forward again. Two. Lengthen through the gap between your shoulder blades. One. And release. Take your hands behind you. Um, the bell on your feet, heels down, lift your chest up, relax your shoulders down. I'm gonna relax my tongue, my neck, inhale. As you exhale, lift your hips up as you're pressing through your heels, up and down. Breathe in, doesn't need to be high. Exhale, just lift and engage your glutes. Three more. Exhale to lift. 
Keep the belly in, flat your belly. Just try your best. One more. Pose at the top, lift your hips up, chest up, or you can take your head back as long as it feels okay for your neck. Stay for three. Feel free to move back and forth. Two. One. Carefully release your hips down, extend your legs forward. I know it's a little bit early. If you need to, bend your knees slightly. Inhale, extend your arms up. As you exhale, hinge from your hips, take your hands down wherever they fall. Observe the tiny through your legs in the beginning of the class. Take it easy. Be kind to yourself. Stay for three, two, pull your navel in, one, next inhale, lift you up, cross your legs, make your way to tabletop hands and knees, little cat and cow, inhale, lift your chest up, Take your time, exhale, round through your back. Belly button toward your back, inhale, chest up. Exhale, tailbone down toward your knee. Three more at your own rhythm. Take this opportunity to, to nourish your spine, nurture your spine and back. Extra one more. Back to neutral spine. Take your hands forward, walk your hands out in front of you and release your forehead down on your mat. A little rest. Again, observe how your body feels when you let go. And permit yourself, you can come back to this space, this position, whenever you need some rest. Anytime you can make some time for yourself. One more breath. On next inhale, slowly come up for kneeling position. Keep the knees down underneath your hips. Yeah, first side abs or oblique workout here. Relax your shoulders down. Good. One of your hands to your side of the head. Inhale. As you exhale, take this elbow down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, nice and simple. Breathe in. Squeeze, contract your side body. Let's go, seven. Exhale, take it down, six. Yes, right, five. And four. A little bit down, three. A little bit lower, two. And one. Good. This time, take your right hand down. One, and then two, doesn't matter, touch or not. Three, feeling the opposite side of the waist. Two, four, five, six, give me three more. Seven, actually, four more. Eight, nine, 10, great job, switch your side. The other hand by your head, one. Belly in, two. Contract your side obliques, three, four. Yes, you can take it slow, five, six, seven, 
seven, nothing serious here, eight, be playful, nine, I know you are feeling something, and now you can take your hand down, one, and two, good, and three, four, five, stretch, six, strengthening, seven, eight, nine, keep the core tight, ten, and release both hands by your head. Inhale, lift your chest up, open your heart. As you exhale, pulling your navel in, round your back, elbows close to each other. Inhale, open your elbows wide as much as you can. Exhale, scoop your belly in, hollow out. Breathe in, breathe out. Give me two more. Inhale, you might look up. Exhale, look at your belly. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Next one, we will do some spider rotation or twist. Take your hands together. Uh, let's go to left side first. Elbows to the left, but not just parallel to your mat. A little bit down through your left elbow. Diagonally, take your left elbow down. Center. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Same side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. In. Out, in, a little bit lower. Feel the engagement in your left side. Five, and four. Wave through your arms if you want to. Three, two, and one. Switch your side. Take your right elbow down. Exhale for twist. Three. Four, you can think of a canoe. Five, six, or kayak. Seven, eight, a little bit lower. Nine, and ten. Okay, let's kind of swing. Left, right, left, right. Keep the belly in. If you can, take your hips a little bit back, lean back, and twist. Feel your quads as well. Feel the slow burn in your side of body as well. Give me three more. One, two, and three. Great job. Time to release. Take your hands down. Back to tabletop position. Good. Inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, first vinyasa. Chest down between your hands. Relax your forehead, moving through your shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest up for cobra pose. As you exhale, all the way down. Again, moving through your shoulders as much as you want. Inhale, hug your elbows in toward your torso. Lift your chest, head is the last to lift. Good, exhale, all the way down again. Three more. Inhale, cobra. You can bend your elbows, keep the shoulders down out of your ears. Lots of space through your chest. Exhale, lower. Breathe in. Nice and slow. Breathe out. Once more. Inhale. If you can pause for a moment, stay for three. Feel the nice stretch through your chest, your shoulders, even your belly. Two. One. You might look up, inhale. As you exhale, take your hips back for a child pose. Stay for two. Longer exhales. 
one. Yeah, slowly come up to kneeling position once more. Yeah, this time we will do side bend here. Release your left hand down, length through your right arm, all pen over. Really long side body here. Inhale, exhale, length through your right side. We did this one in a seated. A little bit longer exhale. Keep the core engaged. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Listen. Take your right hand behind you toward your right heel. You can actually touch or without touch to lengthen through your right arm down. Good. Right hand up and over and take it down behind you. Good. Inhale, exhale. Find your own rhythm, own pattern of breath. Squeeze and stretch one at a time. Seven, six, five, and four. Three, you can go even deeper. Three, two, one more. And release, switch side. Left hand up, inhale, exhale. One, two, three. You might feel slight different sensation or strength, range of motion in both sides of body. Give it four more. Three, two, one. And slowly take your left hand behind you, take it down. One, full side bend, two, three, your pace. Four, squeeze and contract, five, six, Seven, you're doing good. Eight, little longer arm. Nine, ten, well done. Release your hands down in front of you. One cat and cow and we will move up to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your chest up. As you exhale, round your back. Nice counterbalance here. Inhale, flat back, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog, lengthen through your spine, feel free to bend and extend your legs. Just notice how your body feels now. Keeping your head nice and heavy between your arms. Nice slow ujjayi breath through your nose or you can release your mouth to let it go. A little hot sound. One more. Inhale fully. Exhale. Let it go. Look slightly forward. Stable hop to the top of your mat. Inhale. Half a lift. Exhale. Fold and relax. Rise up the sky. Inhale. Extend your arms up. Join both palms together in front of your heart. Sun salute A. Inhale, extend your arms up. As you exhale, open your arms out and down. Inhale, half a lift. Good. Exhale, step, hop back to your plank, strong arms and core. Breathe in, chest forward. Breathe out, chaturanga or knee, chest, chin. Slowly take it down. Inhale, rolling your shoulders down, cobra pose. As you exhale, hip side for down dog pose. Spread your 10 fingers nice and wide. Feel free to adjust your feet, hips, shoulders, any part of body. Listen what your body is talking to you now. 
Listen to the sound of breath as well. Pay more attention to your physical body now. Next exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Rise up to stand, inhale. This time, left hand finds your right wrist. Hands go to the left side for another side stretch. Good, inhale back to center. Hands go to the right. Breathe in center, cactus your arms, bend your elbows, open up the chest. Twice more, inhale. Hands go to the side, exhale. Breathe in, doesn't matter left or right. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale, elbows toward your ribcage. Exhale, breathe in, little flow. Little more space in your body. This time, take your hands together behind you. Open up the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades to each other. Stay for three, keep the belly in, chest up. Two, lengthen through your front body. One. Bend your knees slightly if you wish. Take your chest toward your thighs, relax your head down, let your head hang heavy. Stay for three. Two. One. Release your hands down, inhale, flat back. Your legs can be slightly bent if you wish. Right hand reaches up for twist. If you can, keep the right leg nice and long. Stay for three, two. Let your right hand reach up to the sky. One. And release, switch side. Left hand up over your shoulder. Feel free to bend your right knee. Three, navel toward your spine, two, twist as much as you can, one, open up your chest, take it down slowly, roll through your spine, come up to your stand. Good, another core and side abs exercise in a standing position, take your shoulders down out of your ears, hands together. Right knee up first, we'll do side uh, twist crunch. Take your right knee up, feel the side of legs. We will do 15. Whenever you're ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Ten more. One, a little bit higher. Two, good. Three, four, five. Find some balance. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Switch side. Left knee up. One. Elbow down. Three, four. Diagonally. Pulling down. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Five more. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now, side oblique crunch. Take your right hand up. Elbow to knee. One, two, yes, three, doesn't matter which side, four, five, ten more if you can. Both hands together, elbow to knee. One, good, three, four, five, six, your pace, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. The other side, left knee up, elbow to knee. One, Two, three, four, five. Ten more, your choice. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit higher. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, take your hands up. 
As you exhale, hands down on your mat or on your legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Rise up to stand. Inhale. Exhale, hands by your side. Good, now bring your feet together, hands by your head. Right leg out and up, side crunch. Keep the right leg nice and straight. Ready? 15. One, two, three, four, five. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five more. One, two, you can do this. Four, and extra. One more. Good job. Switch the side. Hands by your head. Open your elbows wide. If you feel like a too much, you can take your hands down and do the same thing. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Find your own rhythm and strength. One, two, three, four, and five. Here, done. Good job. Find the top of the mat again. Be parallel to each other. Sun salute B. Bend your knees to your pose. Extend your arms up. Keep the knees bent. Make sure you're not moving your knees forward. Taking your knees back. Lengthen through your hips. Stay for three. Two. Keep the arms nice and long. One. Inhale here. Exhale. Hinge from your hips. Relax your head and neck. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step through your plank. One chaturanga, knee, chest, chin, or slowly keep the body nice and long. With a control, lay down on your belly. Inhale, lift your chest up for cobra. As you exhale, hips up to downward facing dog. Join your feet together. A little variation of down dog split, right leg up high, inhale, bend your right knee, so clear right knee, soften your hip, unlock your hips, reverse the circles, take a deep inhale, extend your right leg up high, as you exhale, step through between your hands, warrior one, bend your right knee, Inhale, extend your arms up. Good. You might look up between your hands or you can bring your palms together if it feels good. Stay for three. Keep the right knee bent. Two, spin on your left heel, pressing through your left outer foot. One, pull your navel in. Release your hands down. Take your right foot back to plank. Another chaturanga. With slow motion. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Switch side, feet together. Left leg up, breathe in. Bend your knee, circle through your hips. One way. Maybe the other way. Inhale, extend your left leg up. Exhale, step between your hands, warrior one. Pivot on your right heel. Extend your arms up as you bend your left knee. Find your version of warrior one, hands together or split, keeping your shoulders down out of your ears. Stay for two. One. Release your hands down. Make your way to plank. Chaturanga. Elbows hugging in. Cobra. Nice long spine, your chest. Exhale, downward facing though. If you need to take a break in a child pose. Stay for three. Keep the spine nice and long as you lift your hips high. Two, chest toward your thighs. Feel the stretch in your chest and shoulders. One more breath. Three, 
Bend your knees, stay or hop to the top of the space. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, hands can be on your legs or on your mat. Exhale, there's no right and wrong, relax your head and neck. Back to chair pose, bend your knees, Utkatasana, extend your arms up, sit back and down, stay for two. One. From here, with a control, release your hips down, sit on your mat, and take your feet up for Namasana. Heels up. Good. Shoulders down out of your ears. Knees about 90 angles if you can. If not, you can always tape your toes down. Take five breaths. One, two, good job. Three, leg for through your spine. Relax your shoulders down. One more breath. And release your feet down, hands together. Variation of Russian twist. So take your left elbow down diagonally. Take your right elbow down toward your mat. Good. Left and right. Retune into your side body. Tone your abs. Strengthen your core. Five. Four, any shapes. Three, two, one. Sneak at me. Take your left elbow down. Now you can take your right hand down toward your mat. If you can, you can actually touch. Back to center. Left hand to the right side of the mat. So you're going to do this way. You don't need to connect your hands together, fingertips together, or prayer position. Touch. Touch, touch, touch. Right hand to the left, left hand to the right. Lean back as much as you can. Feel something. Breathe deeper. That's enough now. Do it faster, slower, your choice. 15 seconds. Just do what you can. Two. One more each side. And slowly back to center. Take your hands behind you. Time to release. Pressing through your whole feet. Lift your hips up. And take it down. Press into your feet. Lift your hips. Upward tabletop. Nice and slow. Two more. Good. This time, extend your left leg out as you drop your hips down. Do the same thing. Press into your left foot. Lift your hips up. Keep the right knee bent. Stay for three. Take your head back as long as it feels good. Two. Scoop your belly in to protect your lower back. Drop your hips down if up and down. Switch the legs, left knee bend, right leg nice and long. As you exhale, lift your hips up. You can move up and down or stay still, your option. Always be kind to yourself. Be honest to your body. One more breath. Good. Once you're done, release. Shake it out. Your hands, your wrists, your legs, toes, ankles. Good. And bend your left knee out, right leg nice and long, Jana Shisasana. If you want to, you can take your foot a little bit wider for wide it, uh, Jana Shisasana leg, length of your spine. Right hand down, left hand up, another side bend. Length through your left side. Inhale, exhale, left hand toward your right foot. Just do what you can, go as far as it feels good. Three more.
pose for a moment, length through your left side, either holding or releasing, relaxing, activating, just choose what feels good. Make sure your core is engaged now. Stay for three. Yes, you can bend your elbow. Two, one. Twist the left side, right hand pushes your left thigh. Lean back, you might look over your left shoulder. Option one, stay here. Another option, pressing through your right foot. Lift your chest as you lift your hips high. Open up the chest. Stay for five breaths or move up and down. Feel free to mobilize your hips, your shoulders. Create a little more space. Awesome, one more. Once you're heading out, release your hips down, fold over your right leg. You can hold your leg, any position of your right leg. Relax your chest down. Stay for three. Deep in your breath. Two. Slowly come up and switch legs. Right knee bend, left leg out. If you want to open your left a little bit wider to the side. Left and down, right hand over your head. Nice and slow. Relax your breath, relax your mind. Let's pose, lengthen through your right side. Keep the right arm nice and long. You can hold your foot or let it hover. You can bend, rest your arm. Just do what makes you feel better now. Next inhale lifts you up, gentle twist the right side. You can look back, down toward your right shoulder. You can choose to do something else, press into your left foot. Lift your hips and chest, a little wild thing variation. You can stay in the upright or you can move hips down and up. Embrace your body as it is. Sense of respect, sense of love, sense of connect. Once you're done, release your hips. Take your chest down toward your thigh. Good. You might gaze toward your left foot, or sometimes I just close my eyes. Make sure your face is nice and soft, but your core and your legs are nice and active. Stay for two. One. Carefully, slowly release. Great job. Now we are going to move into tabletop hands and knees. Mm -hmm. Not really beautiful transition, <laughs> but I guess we need a little bit of core and side workout to really feel your side of legs and your core to protect your lower back. Okay, elbows down first, hips over your knees, chest forward, inhale, 
exhale hips back moving back at birth a little warm up two more chest forward hips back keep the belly in back nice and long good now you're gonna lift your knees up hip dips left hip to the left side of mat as low as you can right hip toward the right side of mat option one you can move side to side for rainbow plank if you feel like it's too much you cannot stay more than two or three breaths then you can keep the knees down just like we did and move your hips side to side none of your options are wrong you choose you design your own practice today i will give you about 30 seconds you can anytime lift your knees up again or drop your knees down sway side to side little hip dips to turn on your side core you're doing good as long as you feel something <laughs> one more to side you got this Once you had enough, slowly drop your knees down, rest for a moment, forehead down, hips back and up, relax your shoulders, you deserve it. Stay for three deep, deserved breaths. Next inhale, slowly lifts you up to tabletop. Listen, take your right foot out, left leg nice and long for side plank variation. Side crunch. Probably you did with me before. Am I right? Okay, knee to elbow. Even today we did a side crunch in a standing. Knee to elbow as close as you can. Exhale, crunch. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, little chill here. Extend your left side. Keep the left foot down. Nice banana shape in your side of body. Stay for three, two, let go, and release. Switch to side, left foot out, right foot back, side of plank on the other side. Lengthen through your right side, inhale, exhale, pick up your right knee toward your elbow. One, two, three, four, five ten more you got this exhale crunch exhale engage do what you can give me three more one two three and you're done right foot down lengthen through your right take your right hand over your head and down toward your mat Think about longer side of body. And release your hands. Make your way to downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward. Step your hands to your feet or feet to the hands. Let them meet each other. Inhale, halfway lift. You're almost done. Exhale, fold and relax. Rise up to stand, breathe in. Hands together, breathe out. Good little squat, hips back. Feel a little bit wider than your hips, toes out slightly, good. Inhale, extend your arms up over your head. Exhale, squat down. 
Good. Breathe in, reach up high. Exhale, hips down. Any shape of your arms, breathe in, breathe out. Focus on your hips. Feel those stretch in your glutes. Seven. Six. Five. Nice and steady breath. Four. Three. Go as low as it feels good. Feel safe. One more. Listen, take your hands down on your mat. Right foot back for leisure pose. Mm -hmm. Keep the left foot where it is, right foot back. You're right, good. From here, we will do little push-ups. I know you love push-up. Right knee down or let it hover. You choose. Elbows down. One. Yes, good. Two. Elbow push-up. Three. Four. Squeeze your elbows in. Five. Only two more. Six. And seven. Great job. Stepping your right foot out to the squat position again. Inhale, extend your arms up. As you exhale, take your hands down, stepping your left foot back for leisure pose again. You know what is the next seven round push-ups. You can walk your hands forward if you wish. Elbows down. One, two, feel the stretch in your thighs. Three, four, squeeze your elbows in, tone your arms too. Two more. And you're done. Stepping your left foot forward to your squat again. Bend your knees, extend your arms up, inhale. As you exhale, take your hands down. Right foot back, am I right? Okay, just one push up. Elbows down. Right foot forward, left foot back, one push up. <laughs> okay, one at a time because we cannot do both at a time. Maybe you can do, but for me too much. So one at a time. Step back, step forward, step back, bend your elbows, step forward. Three more each side. Just give you all. Continue to breathe. Continue to stretch and strengthen your body. One more. You got this. And you're done. Hips down for lower squat, Asian squat. Knees out, heels down. If not, you can lift your heels up. Totally cool. Take five breaths. Relax the shoulders down. Return into your breath. Any shape, any movement. Respect your body as it is. Find your breath here. Time to release, let go. Hips down, take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Good job. <laughs> Do you feel a little warm or hot? Knees out. Windshield wiper. Relax your hips, knees, your lower back. If you think you don't need to take your hands down, you can take your hands up. Free in your hands and move your hips. Free your hip joint. Yes. In Korea, we have this kind of uh, hand position when we bow in certain days to seniors. So if you want to take your hands together like this, one of your palm against the other top of hand. Or you can make a genie arms. Good. Two more each side. Good. Now I want you to bend your right knee in front, left knee behind, 90-90 stretch here. Little variation of pigeon pose. Take a deep inhale, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, walk your hands forward. 
beyond over your right shin. Good, as far as it feels good, hinge it from your hips, chest down, full head down toward the earth. Stay for three deeper breaths. Nice rotation through your right hip. Little internal rotation in your left thigh. This time, walk your hands to the right side, two o'clock. You might look back over your right shoulder. Even you can touch your elbows down. Stay for three. Two, walk your hands as far as it feels good for your side body. to center all the way to the leg keep the knees bent 90 degrees and right hand to the left thigh probably left hand toward your foot or ankle wherever you can reach twist to the left two more breaths if it doesn't feel good in your left knee you can take your heel toward your hip Hang there. Back to center and switch. Knees to the left side, left knee, right knee, both are at 90 degrees. Inhale, exhale, chest down toward your left hip. I mean the knee or shin. Stay here or walk your hands even further. Deep breath. Just observe what's going on in your hips. Very beneficial for your lower back and your hip pain, whatever you have. Just be mindful, be careful. Be kinder. And now you can walk it out to the left side. Let a side stretch here. Stay for two. One. Inhale back to center, twist over to your right side. Get any position of your legs. Relax your hands, your shoulders. Relax your face, your neck, your mind as well. Totally cool to be yourself. In your time release, great job. Bring your feet together, knees apart, shake it up. Hardest part is gone, completely relax your body. I know this is not easy for some of you, so you can bring your heels slowly forward or heels in, take your knees wide as much as you can. Inhale, exhale, chest forward, hinge at your hips. Five breath, feel free to move. Adjust, eventually let go. Fire breath into your hips. Next inhale, carefully get out of the shape. Lay down on your back. 
beautiful yummy shavasana of today you can take your feet a little bit wider than your hips bring your knees together after some hip stretch you can pull your knees together as close as possible relax your lower back you can take your hands over your belly soften your eyeballs effortless breath effortless mind If this position feels good, you can stay here as much as you want to. Otherwise, you can extend your legs out. Shimmy your shoulders. Make sure your neck is nice and long. Shoulders away from your ears. Keeping your legs nice and heavy. Before we seal our practice, I want you to think about two gifts that you are given today. It can be anything, any event. Something positive in your day, through your day. For me, the first thing that I did for myself is morning work, walk, not work, before work. <laughs> Even 10 minutes to 15 minutes, if you can take some time for yourself, go outside, get some fresh air, enjoy the sunshine. Even if it's raining, you can feel the morning vibe. And take a little time for yourself before you serve something to others. And secondly, I feel grateful for you guys to take some time for yourself and practice with me today. Remember, you are gifted. Feel free to stay and rest, breathe more, relax more as much as your body wants to. Join both palms together in front of your heart. Thank yourself for showing up. Take special care of yourself. You deserve it. Namaste.